In this video, I'm going to teach you 10 more advanced English words so that you can feel more confident and more fluent when you're speaking English. In addition, you will be practicing linking, connecting words together and stressing the correct word in sentences when you practice these new words today. Let's get started. The first word is very rainy. Instead of saying very rainy, the more advanced word is to say pouring. It's pouring. Number two, very expensive. Another way to say that is to say exorbitant. The prices are exorbitant. Number three, instead of saying very good, you can say it's exceptional or it's superb. Number four, instead of saying very hot, you can say it's sweltering or it's boiling. Number five, instead of saying very surprised, you can say stunned. Number six, instead of saying very bad, you can say atrocious or appalling. Number seven, instead of saying very terrible, you can say horrendous. Number eight, Instead of saying very painful, you can say excruciating or unbearable. Number nine, instead of saying very small, you can say minuscule. And number 10, instead of saying very old, you can say ancient. Okay, now let's practice these words in sentences so that you can also practice your accent at the same time. Listen to which words I stress and also pay attention to how I connect the words together and then repeat after me. Number one, it's been pouring for over an hour. We connect the R to the O for over and the R of over to the A of un for over un and the H is silent so we're going to say an hour. It's been pouring for over an hour. Number two, the prices are exorbitant in this store. Prices are, we connect the S to the A and then the R to the E. The prices are exorbitant. This store, there are two S's, but we only pronounce one because we connect them. The prices are exorbitant in this store. Number three, the food in that restaurant is superb. We connect the D and the I, the food in, is superb. Two S's become just one S. The food in that restaurant is superb. Number four, the mornings are okay, but the afternoons are sweltering. We connect the S to the A, the mornings are. And then we say the afternoons because afternoons begins with the vowel. And the afternoons are, the S is linked to the A. The mornings are okay, but the afternoons are sweltering. Number five, I was stunned by the news. Two S's connected together. I was stunned by the news. Number six, even though his grammar is atrocious, we understand him. We eliminate the H, generally the pronouns have a silent letter if they're in the middle of the sentence. So the H of his is reduced and we say, even though his grammar, and then we connect the R to the I, grammar is and the S to the A, grammar is atrocious. And we generally don't say we understand him, we say we understand him. Even though his grammar is atrocious, we understand him. Number six, he committed a horrendous crime. Let's connect the D with the A and we're gonna make that a fast D and we're gonna say committed a, he committed a horrendous crime. 
Number eight, she had an excruciating headache. Hadden, we connect the D to the A and that D becomes a fast D. Hadden, and the N is connected to the E, an excruciating. She had an excruciating headache. Number nine, your problems are minuscule compared to theirs. We connect the S to the A, problems are. And compared to, that D does not have to be pronounced because the D and the T are very similar sounding. So we can just drop the D and say compared to. Your problems are minuscule compared to theirs. And number 10, that's an ancient building. We connect the S to the A, that's an, and the N to the A, an ancient. That's an ancient building. Remember, confident English means accurate English. And that means accurate grammar, accurate pronunciation, and using precise and advanced English vocabulary.